Tonight, the pandemic is exposing the lack of resources in some of our most vulnerable communities, showing the digital divide is now greater than ever. President Joe Biden's proposed infrastructure plan aims to bring high speed Internet to more communities. But in the Metro East, one school district found a way to create Internet access for hundreds of students. Alexis Zotos has the story you'll only see on four. It was a problem before the pandemic, and when the pandemic hit, it was uh, just amplified. When students in Collinsville headed home last March with their Chromebooks in hand, they found a significant problem. There were so many students that didn't have internet at home, so they were learning from home with no internet, so there was no learning from home. As the translator for the Collinsville School District, which has a large Hispanic population, Lizeth Jimenez saw the disparity firsthand. Hundreds of families had no access to internet, in part due to cost, but also this part of the Metro East lacks options. No dial-up, no DSL, no cable internet. They're calling internet access the, the fourth utility. You know, you've got water, you've got gas, you've got um, electricity, and, and you've got the internet. It's why broadband access, or high-speed internet, is a large part of President Joe Biden's infrastructure plan. In the meantime, Collinsville came up with their own solution. We were, I think, the fifth school district in the country to do something like this. The Collinsville School District was able to use their CARE stimulus funding to build this tower. It might not look like much, but it provides internet access to approximately 500 of their students, fixing a problem that will go long beyond this pandemic. They take this device home, plug it in, it'll automatically connect to our private LTE network. Jimenez helped set it up for many of the families and saw firsthand the gratitude of what this piece of equipment really means. We gave them internet not just for school but for life and being connected to the outside world like everyone else is. In Collinsville, Alexis Zotos, News 4. The tower will cross the district about $9,000 each year. They say that is a huge savings compared to how much they spent on individual hotspots, which can cost between fifty dollars and $100,000 per year. 